Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video for WordPress we're going to be jumping back into Ocean WP and we're going to be taking a look at how we can create modal pop-ups. Now modal pop-ups are a great way of creating a very streamlined simple interface that allows you to open up a sort of ghosted background image that allows you then to focus the user's attention on the main thing that you want them to do. So in this example, we're going to be taking a look at these different buttons we've got under each one of our services. And we're going to make those a clickable contact pop-up that'll then ghost out and just give us a simple contact form. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at how we can do all of that right now. So before we kick this video tutorial off, you're going to need to make sure you've got a couple of things. Firstly, and most importantly, you're going to need to make sure you've got OceanWP installed in WordPress. That's going to be the theme we're using for this. We're also going to be using some of the commercial add-ons that are available for OceanWP. So you're going to need to make sure you've got the modal add-on at its bare minimum. However, I would recommend picking up the entire pack because it gives you a great theme that you can use on unlimited websites. For this video, we're also going to be using Elementor Pro because we can use the short codes that are part of Elementor Pro and not available in the free version. But you're not limited to using that. You only need to make sure you've got the modal add-on for OceanWP. You can then use any other kind of uh, contact form, plugin, anything that allows you to use short codes to insert that into the page design. Okay, so if you don't have those plugins and you're considering purchasing them, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below because they give us a small percentage back. They cost you no more money, but help support the channel and allow us to create great content for you on a more regular basis. Okay, so let's move on. So I've created this simple page layout. We've got three buttons at the moment. They don't actually do anything. So clicking on those won't do anything. What we want to do is to click them and they'll bring up that modal window that'll have a contact form that'll streamline our interface. So jump back into the admin section of WordPress and we're now ready to start creating that modal dialog box and window. So you'll see that when you install the add-on or the plugin as part of OceanWP, you'll have a new entry section on the admin, which is modal. And as you can see, we've got two options. We've got modal and add new. So let's click on add new to go in and create our first modal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call this one quick contact. You also notice that we've got some other options available. We can go in and start inserting the content in there if we want to, but we've also got the option down on the right hand side for the modal link information. Now we're going to need to use some of this later on when we activate those link buttons, but for now just make a note of the fact that they're there. We also have a range of different options that we can apply to our modal. So if we expand this out at the bottom, you can see we've got a whole range of different options. Things like templates we can use, display the title, display close button, custom width, and so on. We also have a lot of options in these tabs. Now for the moment, I'm gonna leave them as they are, and I'm gonna publish this. Now at the moment, we've also got nothing actually contained inside our modal dialog box. So we need to go and create that. Now obviously you can use any plugin that allows you to create short codes, but for this, we're going to be using Elementor Pro. But you could easily use something like Ninja Forms or Contact Form 7, whatever you think is the best for you. However, with that, you are kind of limiting yourself to just using Contact Forms and other kinds of forms. But we could use this model for pretty much anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Elementor, but we're going to do it in a slightly different fashion. We're going to come into the settings and we're going to come down to My Library. We're going to click in there. What we're going to do is we're going to create Add New. And in there, we're going to create our contact form. So we're just going to call this modal contact. And we're going to click on publish. We're going to set the template to make sure that this is just using the full width with nothing else on this. We're going to set that to Elementor Canvas and I'll just hit update. Once we've done that, we're going to click on edit with Elementor. That's going to open up the Elementor editor and then we can create the contact form. I'm going to keep this really simple. All I'm going to do is create a simple section. So we're going to come down, we're going to find the forms option. We're going to simply drag that up, drop it in there. We'll leave the default settings. I'm not too bothered about what's going on and we'll just click on save. So we've now created our contact form or the content we're going to use inside our modal. So what I'm going to do now is I can just close this and go back to the dashboard. And you'll find that once we go back to the Elementor section of my library, where we created that modal contact, it's now given us this short code. So all I'm going to do is copy that short code. We're then going to go back to our modal. And once we're inside there, click Quick Contact. And finally, we're just going to simply click and add in the Elementor short code that's going to put the content inside our modal. 
Again, we're just going to hit update. Okay, so now that we've created the modal, how do we go through and actually link that to the buttons? Well, this is where the modal link information starts to come into play. So we need to make sure we've got that information available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply come over to my pages section. I'm going to open this as a new tab. So I'm going to say all pages and I come down. I'm going to find the page that I want to work with, which is our modal page. So we're going to click to open that up and then click to edit with Elementor. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go through and we're going to set up the parameters. So I scroll down. Let's find our button and click to activate it. Now, there's two pieces of information we need. We need the link or the link ID and we need the CSS class. So let's just jump back over. There's our modal ID, which is what we're going to use for the link. So I'm going to simply copy that. Jump back over to our Elementor page and just paste that in as the link. So that's the first part. Second part is to jump over to the advanced section, making sure we've got the element style open. And you can see we've got the option for a CSS ID and a CSS class. So again, let's just jump back to this tab. We're going to copy this link class. So we're going to select that, copy it, jump back over. And this time we're going to put that into our CSS classes. So we're going to save that and we're all done. So let's just quickly try this out. I'm going to come over. I've got the page open. I'm going to quickly refresh this now to make sure that everything is up to date. And you can see our buttons are ready. So if I click on there, we now get our modal window pops up with the content that we pulled in from Elementor's templates. So very quick, very easy. So we can close that down and we can go through and we can do whatever we want with it. So let's just jump back into our page. So you can see we've got a whole range of different options. And should we want to go in and really customize the way this modal actually looks, we can do that from here. So we might want to sort of control the actual width of this. So let's just go through and set a custom width of, say, for example, we'll set that to around 500 and we'll just update that. We'll jump back over to our test page and refresh. And we'll click and open this up. And you can see we now have a smaller version of our modal pop up. So it's very easy to go in and customize the way this all looks. We can control the styling if we want to. So padding and border width and so on. We can control the custom styling for the colors, the typography. We can even control what this looks like on a tablet or a mobile device. So Ocean WP and the modal plugin really gives a huge amount of options on how you can create and customize modal pop-ups on your website. The ability to use short codes gives us even more functionality because we can now go in and put anything we want as a short code, drop that in there, and we can pull that up in a modal window. So if you wanted to, you could do things like sign-in forms, subscription forms, anything you want. It's not limited to forms. It can be anything you can use a short code or anything you can actually type directly into this editor area. Well, that's all there is to it. That's how we work with modal pop-up windows inside Ocean WP using the power of Ocean WP's modal plugin and Elemental Pro. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added every single week. For your comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything you'd like to see covered in future videos, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.